Hello students, welcome you all to the session of solution for gate 2022 fluid mechanics subject for a branch of mechanical engineering. Going on to the first question. A uniform wooden rod with specific gravity 0.4 diameter 4 cm length 8 meter is immersed in water and is injured without friction at a point A on the water line as shown in the figure. A solid spherical ball made of lead with specific gravity 11.4 it attached to the free end of the rod to keep the assembly in the static equilibrium inside the water. For simplicity, assuming that radius of the ball is much smaller than the length of the rod, assuming water density as 10 cube kg per meter cube pi 3.14 and radius of the ball dash centimeters. Right. So, for solving this question, first I will be drawing a free body like gram like thing. This is some gate which is been immersed. Let the G value. This is G where weight force will be acting downward and the buoyancy force will be acting upward. This is the weight of the ball where it is acting downward, buoyancy force acting upward. So the total length of this rod is L. And this length is half, that is L by 2. The diameter is 4 meter, length is 8 meter as given to you. So obviously, the diameter of the rod, 4 centimeter. Density of water, 10 cube kg per meter cube. Length is 8 meter. So here, when I take density of rod to density of water it is specific gravity 0 0.6 given and density of ball to density of water 11.4 the distance is l by 2 when i go with the weight of the rod rho g pi d r square by 4 into L. Whereas weight of the ball will be density of the ball G volume 4 by 3 pi d cube by 8. Let this be W1. Let this be W2. So basically density of fluid is density of water. Density of fluid is or density of water and buoyant force if I take buoyancy forces density of the fluid G V D omega into V or rho G into V this is rho F G into volume pi dr square by 4 into L plus 4 by 3 pi db cube by 8. So, the moment about point A will be taken. That is, this is the point A, right? The moment of the point will be taken and make it to 0. So, moment about point A will be equal to 0. So, W1 into distance of L by 2, W2 into L. W1 into L by 2 plus W2 into L is equal to buoyant force FB1 into L by 2 plus FB2 into L. Where W1 is how much? Rho R G pi dr square by 4 into L plus 2 times rho B G 4 by 3 pi D cube by 8. From here I will take rho and G which is common. 
रो डब्ल्यू ऑफ जी पाई डी आर स्क्वायर बाई फोर इंटू एल प्लस फोर बाई थ्री पाई डी बी क्यूब बाई एट इंटू टू नाउ रो आर बाई रो डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू दैट इज आई हैव इक्वेटेड दिस एफ बी वन एफ बी टू वी नो एफ बी वन एंड एफ बी टू रो आर बाई रो डब्ल्यू इंटू पाई डी आर स्क्वायर बाई फोर इंटू एल टू पी बी बाई रो डब्ल्यू इंटू फोर बाई थ्री pi d cube by 8 is equal to pi d r square by 4 into l plus 8 by 3 pi d b cube guys we have all the values find out d b cube find out d b cube from here So from here, give the value of dB, zero point zero seven one seven meter. Radius will be zero point zero three five eight meter or three point nine five nine centimeter. This is the condition. This is the condition. The radius of the ball is this. is asking you up to two decimals 3.59 cm will be the right answer for the given question going to the next question a study velocity fluid in a inviscid fluid of density 1.5 is given to be y square minus x square into i cap plus 2xy to j cap neglecting body forces the pressure gradient at x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 is a 10j b 20i c minus 6i minus 6j cap d minus 4i minus 4j cap. Given v is y square minus x square into i cap plus 2xy into j cap. We have Navier-Stokes equation. Rho delta v by delta t is equal to minus So del x by del p by del x plus mu into del square u plus rho g x. Let be equation one. For inviscid flow, what happens? Mu into del square u will be equal to zero. Rho g x will be equal to zero. That is, body force is equal to zero at that time. Equation one. Can be written as rho into u del u by del x plus v del u by del y is equal to minus del p by del x. We know that rho is 1.5 given to you in the question. When I substitute del p by del x is equal to 1.5 y square minus x square into Del by del x of 2xy plus 2xy into del by del y of x square minus y square. From here, when I calculate del p by del x minus 1.5 into y square by x square into 2x. Plus 4xy square. You will get from here at x equal to 1, y is equal to 1 minus 1 by 5, 1 minus 1 into 2 into 1 plus 4 into 1 into 1. That will give you minus 6. Similarly, for y direction also you do. Similarly, for y direction. Del p by del x at 
x equal to 1, y is equal to 1 will also give you minus 6. So the pressure gradient will be minus 6 i cap plus 6 j cap or minus 6 i cap minus 6 j cap. That is option C will be the right answer for the given question. C will be the right answer for the given question. Moving to the next one. Next question. A tube of diameter D is immersed in a steady flow inviscid liquid stream of velocity V. Gravitational acceleration is represented by G. The volume flow rate through the tube is. Right. He has given you the question here. The free body. This is H1, H2. The datum it is Z1. Pressure let it be P0. The velocity of the stream is V. This is Z2. Pressure at a point 1 is rho G H1 plus H2 into P1. Right? Now, initially at point O, let this be point O. Right? At point O, velocity V is velocity of the fluid and P0 pressure is rho G H1. When I apply Bernoulli's equation here for 0 and 1, what is going to happen? P0 by rho G plus V square by 2G equal to P1 by rho G plus V1 square by 2G. So, you will be getting, yeah. so you will be getting rho g h1 by rho g plus v square by 2g is equal to rho g h1 plus h2 by rho g plus v1 square by 2g. From here v1 is root of v square minus 2g h2. From here you know q is equal to a1 into v1 pi by 4 d square into v square minus 2g h2 v square minus 2g h2 pi by 4 d square into v square minus 2g h2. Option D. Simple Verma question application of Bernoulli's equation pi by 4 d square into root v square minus 2 g h2 option c will be the right answer going to the next question question number four consider a steady flow horizontal divergent channel with a supersonic flow at inlet direction of flow is from left to right pressure along a pressure at location b is observed to be higher than at an upper stream location which among the following option can be the reason? Viscous effect B. Since volume flow rate is constant, the velocity at B is lower than the velocity at A. C. Normal shock. D. Boundary layer. So, obviously, when you see about the Bernoulli's equation of the given question by, by momentum principle, conversation of a conservation of momentum principle, dA by A is dP by rho v square into 1 minus m square right whenever superflonic supersonic flow is there m will be greater than 1 so da and dp what should happen for da and dp they should be in opposite direction they should be in opposite direction as a pressure at point b is greater than a what is going to happen adverse pressure gradient will be formed and causes the flow separation whenever PB is greater than PA. This equation, when you take this equation, PB greater than PA, so equation 1, Mach number must be less than 1. So obviously, subsonic flow occurs at B. At a supersonic flow, whenever at a point A, B is subsonic, this causes a normal shock. That is the concept of rally line we will be talking about, right? So obviously, viscous effect, Say uh, volume flow rate is constant, normal shock and boundary layer will go with 
normal shock condition why because at a supersonic flow is there and at b subsonic flow is there option c will be the right answer for the given question next question velocity field is given by v equal to 4xy into i cap plus 2 into x square minus y square into j cap which of the following statements is or are correct velocity field is in one dimensional flow is incompressible acceleration experienced by the fluid particle is zero and flow is irrotational given v equal to 4xy into j cap plus 2 into x square minus y square into j cap this is i cap u is equal to 4xy v equal to 2 into x square minus y square for a rotational flow omega to be equal to 0 omega formula is what half dv by dx minus dou u by dou y half dou v by dou x 4x minus 4x that is 0 so at x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 what happens to the acceleration so flow is irrotational whenever the acceleration we take a x del u by del t that is u into dou u by dou x plus v into dou u by dou y what happens here when x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 ax will be equal to 0 similarly ay will also become 0 that means del into v for an incompressible flow it is satisfied that is dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y also you do you will get 4y minus 4y which is 0 so the fluid is incompressible also fluid is incompressible also right so option b c d it is not one dimensional flow it is incompressible acceleration is zero at y equal to zero and the flow is irrotational flow this will be the answer for the given question by this we have completed the questions of fluid mechanics gate 2022 mechanical engineering afternoon paper thank you students